going on internet? It's your boy Kabang here. I know it's been a while since I made a video period, um, but I'm back and this time I'm doing a cooking video. A uh, very good friend of mine on Instagram asked me to show her how to make an omelet. So it's dinner time. I don't feel like uh, getting fast food, omelet, usually quick and easy to make. So that's what we're doing tonight. Let's get into the video. So here are our supplies, you know what I'm saying? We got the eggs right here. We got the butter, salt and pepper. Uh, we got our sausage, our protein, and of course some cheese. So first thing we're gonna do is crack some eggs and get that started. Usually the basis of the omelet right here. Bow, one. Sausage, what we're actually going to do is we're going to mince it up into small pieces like so. This will not take very long. The idea here is that we're going to take this one piece of sausage, chop it up into little itty bitty pieces, and then spread it out across the omelet, which you'll see in a little bit. So we're just mincing it up into like a hundred little pieces. Separated. So now what we're gonna do is put that in the microwave. So I have my lovely kitchen that I tried my best to keep clean. <laughs> so here's the sausage. We're gonna put it in the microwave, but we're not going to heat it up just yet. All right. Now, first thing we do is cut the stove on like so. The flame is on. Then we're gonna put our butter in. I don't have a whole lot of butter in this one, but I already got the two or tub, excuse me. So we're gonna put the butter in there. It's enough or more. Alright. Good old butter. I'll just kind of mix it around a little bit like so. Heating up, we're going to uh, start the timer on our sausage. So while that is heating up, get our eggs together, put them here, and wait for the sausage to finish. Once the sausage is finished, we're going to... Alright, sausage is now done. It's a little hot though. Now typically, I would have some spinach, but of course, right when I get ready to record this video, I found out the spinach I got is no good. <laughs> it's no good. It's about a week older than I'd like it, so I couldn't use it, unfortunately. But typically, I will put the spinach in first, uh, then the sausage, then the egg. But we're gonna put, we're gonna just do. Uh, actually, let's put the let's put the egg in first, and then we'll put the uh, the bean in second. So let's do that. All 
So I set the temperature on low. Um, I'm going to just pour this in like so. And we're going to let the we're going to let the egg do what it's mad. So typically, I would have uh, I would have like a bread, like a biscuit or something, but I ran out of biscuits and I ate them all over the weekend. So I don't have any more. So all we're all we're done on tonight is uh, an omelet. <laughs> it's an omelet. You can tell I did a video in a while because I'm out of lost words. But yeah, so this is what we're making tonight. So we're gonna just last few pieces apart. But every time I heat it up, for some reason they get stuck together again. It's really weird. Really, really weird. So we're gonna turn this up to medium as well. Uh, you're almost done. Almost, almost done. So typically, an omelet, the trick is you just want it to even out, you know, cook all the way, and then you want to start putting your toppings in, you know, your, your protein, your cheese, or whatever vegetable you want. Like I said, I usually put spinach in mine, but kind of ran out of spinach, so I can't use it. But yeah, so this one's gonna be real simple. Just sauces and cheese. I got the cheese right here. Uh, this is uh, Good and Gather Cheddar Jack. Real simple. Let me show you real quick. Real simple. I don't know if I can see that because it's kind of bright in here. But yeah. All right. So let me show you that real quick. So the omelet is cooking. Ah, I know it's kind of bright here. I know y'all can't see it that well. But it is cooking. It's starting to even out a little bit. So give it a few more seconds. And it should be ready to go. So when you're cooking an omelet, what you want to look for is just consistency all around. You do want to start to kind of test it with the spatula a little bit just to see what's what. Now I'm gonna set it back to low because I don't want it to cook too fast and start browning because I don't like my shit crunching. I ain't gonna lie. So yeah, but this is the time you want to start putting your, your toppings in. This is the time to do that, so I'm gonna do that right now while it's still uh, cooking. Man, that it's really got stuck together again. That's crazy. Uh, so I'm gonna separate. Boom, boom, boom. Separate that. Separate that. So typically, one sausage. Uh, patty is good enough. This is a turkey sausage from Jimmy Dean. So typically one is pretty good. I have used two in the past when I was just kind of figuring stuff out. And I realized two is that's a lot of meat, Pauls. That's, that's a lot of meat for one uh, one two egg omelet. So I, I just started using one instead. But I was doing the same thing. I would cut it up, I would dice it up real good and then go from there. Uh, so still a little low, still pretty good. It's almost ready to flip over. Once you flip it over, you're closing it. Uh, so let me put the cheese on top and we will be done. Cheese is the easy step. You can use just about any cheese uh, with an omelet. Any, any cheese you like, cheddar jack, Swiss, pepper jack, whatever you want. Jack got a lot of cheese. I realize that. There's a lot of cheese. Monterey Jack, Pepper Jack, Cheddar Jack, Apple Jack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so we are just about done topping our omelets. Uh, I don't want to overcook it, like I said. So when I put the top over, the cheese is going to melt on its own. Uh, but yes, it is definitely ready to be flipped. Ah. So it's probably gonna be, it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be a little, a little brown, but that's okay. That's okay. Just push it over. Oh, wait a minute, don't, don't fight me, man. Wait a minute. Right. Bam! Eh, it's good enough. <laughs> good enough. I don't think, I don't want it to break. These things are real dope. Uh, I think that's good. I'm gonna try one more time. Don't break, don't break. Ah, yeah, that's the good we're gonna get. All right. 
Alright, um, so I'm gonna let it cook just a little more, but I am gonna turn it off because I don't want it to gray, or not gray, brown too hard. But this is our end product for the most part. Let me put it on the plate so y'all can actually see what it looks like. Record myself cooking before this is the first time but this looks pretty good nonetheless so I can't complain um, so I'm gonna go eat it but thank y'all so much for watching please be sure to like comment subscribe and I will catch y'all on the next one so real quick before I get out of here real quick so I got a mic so I got on me got a road mic um, I also have a, uh, a tripod so now I'll be able to do more vlogs uh, just around the house maybe IRL I don't know yet DreamCon is coming around the corner. It's actually next week. So I still got to figure out all this camera equipment. But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.